Hello folks, so today I am talking about error uh, propagation. It is especially uh, important in paper 1, 2 and uh, paper 5. So uh, it, I have done it especially at the request of students because uh, they often find it uh, uh, confusing regarding the formula that uh, we use when we propagate error. So for example, uh, let us say number 1 here. If we have a quantity somewhat like this, z equal to x plus y x plus y, then what will be the value of uh, the error delta uh, z? So, uh, for that, uh, let me remem remember remember uh, that uh, an error is denoted by delta, delta symbol there. So, we have, uh, when we introduce some error in x and some in y, the new quantities become, quantities become, x becomes, x becomes x plus delta, delta x and y becomes y plus delta y and z becomes z becomes z plus delta z so that means uh, that means now we have z plus delta z delta z should be equal to should be equal to x plus delta x and then plus uh, y plus delta y so since error can be both a positive and negative, I can introduce here plus minus here, plus minus here, plus minus. So it is plus minus, plus minus, and plus minus. This is purely plus, but this is plus minus and plus minus because error can be both positive and negative. So uh, we have now two equations here. One is this, one is this. So if we subtract this equation from this, I will have z plus delta z minus z should be equal to x plus minus delta x uh, plus y plus minus delta y minus x minus y. So x plus y, it becomes minus x minus y. So this x, this x cancel, y and y cancel, and this z and this z cancels. So we have here, what remains here is delta z, so delta z becomes equal to plus minus delta x plus minus delta y so here it can be so what you can remember here is uh, the error the the value can be it could be it could, it could be delta x minus delta y it could be uh, or it could be delta x plus delta y it could be minus delta x minus delta y or it could be minus delta x plus delta y so these are the four values this uh, uh, error in delta z can have now if we have another quantity quantity such as such as uh, z is equal to x minus y for example uh, so if so i will i should have uh, this uh, z plus minus delta z delta z should be equal to x plus minus delta x minus minus y plus minus delta y so if i subtract it i will have z plus minus delta z minus z should be equal to x plus minus delta x delta x minus minus x then minus y plus minus delta y then minus y so i can place it this y over here so what happens is uh, this cancel this also cancel so what remains with us is so this uh, uh, delta z so let us see minus here so this uh, delta z is equal to is equal to plus minus delta x minus so minus into plus minus is minus plus delta y so what happens here is this plus minus is also equal to this minus plus is also equal to plus minus so it is a plus minus delta x plus minus delta y so here also we have the same values as this as this because uh, it can take for example so if i take this uh, delta x as plus minus delta y one value delta x plus delta y another value minus delta x plus uh, minus delta y one value and minus delta x plus delta y another value so the next is this now if we have a quantity like this number three number three if i have a quantity like this y is equal to lgx 
LZ is log x or 10, co 10 to power x. So if uh, I have a small error in x, then this also I have error. Y plus delta y will be equal to LZ x plus delta x. So it will give me, it will give me, so y plus delta y minus y is equal to LZ x plus delta x minus LG x. So this cancel. So delta y should be equal to equal to either simply this either simply this or I can change it into somewhat like this so equal to LZ 1 plus delta X by X and it becomes LZ 1 plus delta X by X so either this or this now if we have another quality as this so let me have another quantity like this, like this, like this. So let me arrange it things like this. So arranged. So 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 if I have one like this, number four, y is equal to e power x. Then I'll have y plus delta y is equal to e x plus delta x. And then y plus delta y minus y will be equal to e x plus delta x minus e x so this will be delta y is equal to e power x e power delta x delta x then minus e power x equal to e x e delta x minus 1 so this gives us the value of delta y delta y so you can have uh, so many uh, uh, quantities, uh, quantities. So this is the first uh, part of this series. So you can get, uh, you can tune into more parts later.